I am president of the United States of America, and the buck stops with me. President Biden breaking his silence amid the chaos in Kabul. The president expressing no regrets about his decision to withdraw the U.S. from the country after 20 years. I stand squarely behind my decision. After 20 years, I've learned the hard way that there was never a good time to withdraw U.S. forces. Still, President Biden admitted he was wrong to downplay the chances of a lightning-fast Taliban takeover that just last month he called highly unlikely. There's going to be no circumstance where you see people being lifted off the roof of a embassy in the, of the United States from Afghanistan. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan speaking with Savannah yesterday. How do you explain getting this so wrong? Well, first, Savannah, to be fair, the helicopter has been the mode of transport from our embassy to the airport for the last 20 years. But you know the larger that is, point. That is, it's not the helicopter. How we move it's not the mechanism. Forth, so. No, no, it's to, the last minute scramble. You know that. It is certainly the case that the speed with which cities fell uh, was much greater than anyone anticipated. The outrage has been both swift and bipartisan. We're less safe as a nation. The likelihood of an attack coming from Afghanistan now is through the roof. Democrat Mark Warner, who chairs the Senate Intelligence Committee, vowing to ask tough but necessary questions about why we weren't better prepared for a worst case scenario. The president focusing on his original reasons for withdrawal. American troops cannot and should not be fighting in a war and dying in a war that Afghan forces are not willing to fight for themselves. The situation also infuriating for veterans like Matt Zeller, who served in Afghanistan and is now desperately trying to help find a way out for Afghan allies who assisted the U.S., accusing the Biden administration of ignoring repeated warnings. We sent them plan after plan on how to evacuate these people. Nobody listened to us. And overnight, we're hearing for the first time from former President Bush, who first sent troops to Afghanistan in 2001 after 9-11, 20 years ago. Mr. Bush called on the U.S. government to cut the red tape for Afghans who helped us, insisting we have the, quote, responsibility and the resources to secure safe passage for them now without bureaucratic delay. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.